Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Nikopara. In the last episode, we came home and then the two cat girls wanted to do me and we made love. And now we woke up and Shigeri's here for some reason. <laughs> Are you sure it's from overwork? Are you sure it's not from all the love making I've been doing with chocolate and vanilla? What? Who, who said that? Was it chocolate or vanilla? Wait, and what do you mean I seemed odd? I still don't know what happened. Sitting next to the bed, Shigure let out a big sigh. But, hold on. But what happened? Like between sleeping and now? Chronic fatigue? Too tired. Um, up until yesterday? After the love making or, uh, or amusement park? I'm confused right now. Really? How does someone not notice that they're exhausted? When I'm exhausted, I'd be like, oh, I'm tired. Uh, uh, blah, blah. And then I pass out. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> 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 now, where all my energy came from for the. Naughty, naughty stuff we did last night. For the record, it's not what you two are thinking. Uh, because you kind of went flush. Wait, my fault? What are you saying? My prowess? Oh. So, wait, I'm going to the hospital now? Why? I mean, can I just sleep it off? Wait a minute. What was that casual little remark just now? <laughs> Not sure that's what you said, but I'll just go along with it. What? What? How is she? How is, how is Shigure putting all the fatty tuna there? They're super fatty tuna. <gasps> Just why did you bring that fatty tuna with you? She's clearly ready for everything. Yeah, apparently in that kimono, it's like a, a stash of everything there. The two drooling cat girls behind her were ready for everything and anything too. Gah. Uh, do I have no choice but to stop hiding things from Shigure? Hospitalized? Oh, that's, that's no good. My business is thriving now, though. <gasps> oh no. That's no good. Hey, don't make a fuss just because I can't get up. Oh, if you can get up, then that, that's a big, big problem. 
Big problem. I'm not going to close the shop just because I'm a little dizzy. Yeah. I think you need to close the shop there. We had a crucial time with our clientele increasing and all. Yeah, but if you can't get up and you're dizzy, how are you going to run the shop? <gasps> I could die. Okay, that's... Yep. Alright, let's go to the hospital. I don't... I don't want to die. Uh, no. And why do you remind me of Brock from Pokemon right now? Uh, I'm not gonna die right now. Wait, widowed? We're, we're not married. Oh, they look so sad. She was angry. Shigeru was clearly angry. Mm hmm. Especially with that Brock fa face there. From my experience, Shigeru was at her most upset when she smiled while angry. Smiled? She, she is definitely not smiling. Are you upside down, Kasho? Even the cat girls themselves seem pretty serious too. Mm, you guys say the scariest things sometimes. Hmm. Yeah, I would probably listen to Shigure because didn't she? Didn't didn't you say she was an education freak? Um, Kasho. What the heck? That's very dark. She said that without missing a beat, smiling as usual. Creepy. Please stop with jokes like that. Yes. I do. I don't know about Kasho, though. I guess. Kasha, are you, is, is, is there a screw loose in there somewhere? Because, I mean, do, do you really not understand this? Yes, I will do my best to make sure Kasha will stay in bed and rest. Um, no. Ambulances are expensive. Apparently, my friend went in ambulance once because he got what happened to him. I think he got elbowed in the face, and then, um, he, like cut his lip really badly because his teeth hit his uh, inner lip. And then he went into the ambulance, and then it was like three hundred dollars. At my vague reply, her face started getting closer and closer. Hmm? The pressure from her smile was terrifying. What smile? What, what are you seeing? I don't see no smile. At this point, I didn't seem to have a choice. Got it. I'll be a good boy and get some sleep. What else are you going to do, Kasha? You can't get out of bed, apparently. That's definitely better. Better than being hospitalized. Mm, I don't know. I mean, they could, you know, get you some IV, get you fluids, some medication, probably get better. I don't know. Probably, might be better there. Yeah, finally. Um, are you having creepy weird thoughts again, Shigure? Cut it out. I already said I'd be good and get some sleep. Yeah, some sleepy times be good. Shigure gave a satisfied nod at my answer. At least for today, I'd give in. Plus, it was true that I couldn't work like this. Then why'd you argue? Huh. 
ご主人様、大丈夫ですか I am. No, I'm not. ご主人、大丈夫 I need a rest. Yeah, I'm fine. There's no point in making this much of a fuss. So, and. Uh. What, what's happening? Are they tired? Well, I wasn't really gonna say anything. Don't worry about it. Their long string of yawns was surreal. I guess it was pretty calming. I felt some muscles loosening up. From yawning? Why? Are you yawning too, Kasho? It was like some sort of tension was draining from me. Yeah, the chronic fatigue. Wait, we didn't even open it. How. You mean you just put this sign? The closed sign up? Why are they just tired? Bye. They sure do. It's easy to remember that cat girls really are just cats when you live with them. Uh, sometimes. I mean, they're pretty humanoid. It's, cats are kind of like tiny, tiny things. I'm the cat. Well, What are you thinking right now, Shigure? I mean, I am living with them. I mean, what else, what else am I gonna say? Lay off, would you? Apparently not. You're so persistent. In a loving sister way or the creepy sister way? I don't know. I really can't understand her definition of love. Yeah, me neither. Been like this ever since she was born. Really? Oh? What, what do you mean, push myself? Oh. Because when you want something to thrive, you gotta work hard at it. Um, but I need, I needed to, to do my best. You said it yourself that if you get too tired, you don't notice it, right? Yeah, why are you avoiding it, Clasho? He sat up straight and stared at me intensely. We waited in silence for a while, yet she still stared at me without budging an inch. Seeing her persistence, I decided to give in and surrendered with a sigh. It's because I thought that I had to work harder. Well, yeah, you're on your own. You, you always feel you gotta work harder. That's, that's your, you know, your passion, your intuition. I murmured, leaning my head back on the pillow and looking at the ceiling. Recently, I went on a date with chocolate and vanilla. It was then that it struck me that they're not just pets, but family, lovers even. So I didn't want them to have to work hard because of my choice to leave home. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a no-no there. Plus, they're helping you. Um, you know, Kasho. So, I mean, you don't have to push yourself that hard. Well, it's your own fault our clientele increased so much. Wow, really, Kasha, you blame her for the clientele? I mean, you wanted to, to thrive. 
Oh, you, you know what we're talking about. I decided not to press further. Shigeri smiled slightly and tilted her head in response. If she was going to address that issue honestly, she would already have done so by now. Hmm. Yeah, Shigeri's the trickster. That's how Shigeri had always been. But... I like how your eyes widened when you said even lovers. Hmm? She took a deep breath and looked at me with a kind of troubled smile. I think everyone has that kind of feeling. Like, like you, you want to be relied on. Her smile stabbed at my heart. Those were words that chocolate and vanilla would say about me. No, I'm sure these were Shiguri's words too. Her smile pierced me and my words were trapped in my throat. Hmm. Of course you don't. I wish you'd say that I'm worthy of being relied upon. Uh, well, I think for people who are, you know, starting up their own thing, like a bakery shop and, you know, other kind of works, yes. <laughs> I did? She spoke as if she were indulging a child's tantrum. Sitting next to me, she placed her small hand on my cheek and ever so slightly closed her eyes. Her slender small hand's warmth was so gentle and loving, the stiffness in my shoulders seemed to melt away. Your phone? Oh, it's on vibrate. Ah? Uh, she looked at her phone and furrowed her brows. When Shigure just sat there motionlessly, I could pretty much figure out who it was. <gasps> Let me guess. Our father. Oh, it's from home, right? You should answer. You could just tell them that you're out walking. Instead of making them worry more. Hmm. The cell phone in Shiguri's hand stopped ringing. Shiguri fell silent and gripped the cell phone tightly. Of course it is, and it's Japan. Yeah. No, no, no. Replace that or. Put, put and there. Well, because you're still young, that's why. They're looking after you. They are, you know, parents after all. Well, maybe when you grow up, maybe you can live close to me? I don't know. I don't think I have another room here. Aww. It is allowed, just, you know, when you're old enough. She spoke in a lonely, frustrated voice with her face downturned. Her voice sounded soft, but was filled with a firm desire. You're so silly, Shigure. Who cares whether you're allowed to or not? What? Nisama. Sat up, and I wrapped my arms around Shigure's shoulders. Shigure let herself rest her head on my chest. I promised I'd look after myself, and I will. Plus, chocolate and vanilla are here, so the three of us will be fine. You said that earlier yourself, remember? 
I whispered as gently as I could near Shigeru's ear. For her to be so attached to me, it honestly made me really happy. I'm not sure her attachment is the, you know, healthy one. It seems more of a creepy, weird sister brother bond thingy. That was exactly why. I didn't want Shiguri to be as clumsy as I was. I don't think she is clumsy. She, you know, as you said before, she is a education freak. The fact that was the fact was that Shiguri was still a child and she still needed that family of ours. She didn't need me leading her astray. What? If they found out you came here, you'd never be able to come back, right? Wait, is that why? I couldn't bear it if that happened. Of course! Oh, yeah, right there. Of course! Why would I lie about that? <laughs> ah. Small shoulders shook happily. I probably didn't have to tell my precautious little sister. But she still gave a small nod at my words. Alright, are you gonna bring some some tea? And some cookies? Ooh, I want some pie. Uh only person. Okay, just please don't go overboard. She hugged me tighter and placed her cheek on my chest. Shigeri was the same as chocolate and vanilla. Keeping those words to myself, I hugged her back. And I'm going to end the episode here, everybody, because Chakla is furious, apparently, and oh, jeez. Uh, it's getting scared. So everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of learning that I have chronic fatigue. And if you guys enjoyed it, then please slime that like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!